Well, hi. Hey, in the last video, we took some time and showed you how to use a T-square and how to use a circle template. And we showed you how to use a triangle or what a triangle is used for. And we talked a little bit about a scale or a ruler. Um, did I say compass yet? Showed you a compass. So these are our basic drafting tools. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to come in and see if we can um, show you how to set up a drawing. And we're going to do this on every drawing. Uh, it's, the way we, it's the way we set up to use the tools correctly. It's also the way we lay out a drawing so it can be read or interpreted by somebody else without them having to figure out from scratch every time. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get all our tools out and we're going to sit down at a drafting board, which I have here. Um, and so unfortunately, my drafting board, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit for you. There we go. So you can see the head of the T-square is up against the edge of the table. I might even be able to go back a little more. Let's try. Let me try reducing this. There we go. Okay, so now we're good. That'll work better. Okay, so to set up my first drafting assignment, uh, I have my pencil here. It's good and sharp. I have about an inch to an inch and a half of uh, masking tape. I'm using blue tape because I don't have any masking tape at home, but at school we usually use just uh, masking tape. And again, uh, I will put some gloves on and come around and give every uh, desk a piece of masking tape to use, okay? All right, so uh, to get started, I'm gonna take the head of my T-square and make sure it's all the way up against the edge of the board. I'm gonna bring it down close to me and then I'm gonna set that piece of paper right on top of the T-square. Then I'm gonna come up into this corner here and I'm gonna give it a little piece of tape, okay? And make sure that tape lays down perfectly flat because when I slide the T-square over it, if it's not flat, this isn't gonna work. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make sure that the bottom of the paper, and you'll probably see my head stick into the camera view here. So I got my paper and my T-square parallel. So I'm gonna tape this down. And then I'm gonna slide my T-square up here and I'm gonna run it down. And what I'm looking at is the amount of paper I see across there. As I get it closer and closer, I should see the same amount of white. Uh, and when I get right to the edge of the paper, guess what, it's perfect. So now I'm gonna take the rest of my tape and I'm gonna stick it down to the corner here and to the corner here. So I now have four pieces of tape uh, and my paper is now parallel to my T-square. We call this act of taping a piece of paper down, squaring up a piece of paper. And what that means is we have squared the paper to the uh, T-square so that they are both parallel to each other. And the name of that is called squaring up a piece of paper. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, we're gonna put a border all the way around the paper like a frame, almost like a picture frame. Uh, we call them borders and drafting. So I'm gonna measure in a half inch on this side. I'm gonna measure in a half inch on this side. From the bottom, I'm gonna measure up a half inch. And from the top, I'm gonna measure down a half inch. And so I don't know if you can see, I put four little marks. This one's pretty noticeable. I put four little marks there and that now allows me to take my T-square. I'm gonna zoom back in just to skosh, um, maybe a little more than that. You don't need to see the head of the T-square, right? So somewhere in, let's see, is that better? Too far, good, let me see. Okay, so I'm gonna come down to my mark that I just measured in. And as long as I'm pulling the head of the T-square up against the table and I put my hand down to hold it, I can draw a straight horizontal line. And you can see that there. So then I'm gonna go up to the top of my paper and I'm gonna put this right on my mark. And you can see the mark right there, okay? And I'm gonna draw a straight horizontal line across the top. Now I'm gonna make those vertical lines. And to make the vertical lines for the frames on this side, I need to take my triangle and my T-square together, and I'm gonna set the T-square and the triangle together. I'm gonna to slide it right up against my mark, and now I'm gonna use my right hand, because I'm left-handed, to hold everything where it belongs. I'm actually pulling this way on the T-square, and then I'm squeezing them together to keep everything where it needs to be. I'm gonna flip it over, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna do this side. The farther you get away from the head of the T-square, the harder a T-square is to use. So, we try to keep it pretty close, okay? And those are my four lines that make my border. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna erase the lines that crossed or any extra lines. 
uh, because I should have a half inch of white space all the way around my paper, okay? So as you can see, I now have a border that goes all the way around my paper. It may look like the bottom one is a little small or crooked. I think that's just the way the camera is sitting. So I think we're still okay. All right, so step one, square up a piece of paper and tape it down. Step two, put on a half inch border. Step three, we're gonna put on a name plate. And a name plate is where we're gonna put some critical information. So for my bottom border, I'm gonna measure up a half inch, put a mark, I'm gonna move that out of the way again. I'm gonna put my T-square on that mark. I'm gonna come all the way across. And then I'm gonna divide that into four spaces. So I'm gonna put a pretty long box right here, it's pretty long. And then I'm gonna do a shorter box. And then I'm gonna do a shorter box. And then I have a longer box. So in this first box, I am gonna print using all capitals, my first and last name, okay? And we use all capitals because it's easy to read uh, and it looks nicer. Um, we, we can teach you lettering, but it's very time consuming. We have short trimesters and quarters here. So we're just gonna teach it. If you use all caps, you'll be pretty good. So the first box, you're gonna put your name. The last box, you're gonna write the assignment. Okay, and we'll give you a name for each assignment. Uh, in these inner two boxes, we're gonna put the date and the period. Now, when you do this, it doesn't matter if you flip-flop these. Uh, that doesn't matter to me. I would like you to have your name in the first box and the assignment in the last box, okay? So we now have uh, a paper that is squared up. It has a border. It has a nameplate. Next step is we're gonna put a lucky L. And the lucky L is gonna tell us where we're gonna start our drawing. So I'm gonna come over from the border over here. I'm gonna measure over another half inch and put a mark that goes up and down. And then from my nameplate, I'm gonna go up a half inch and put a mark that goes side to side. I know those are kind of hard to see in the camera, so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna draw a line down here and over here. And we call it the lucky L. And the reason we call it the lucky L is it actually makes an L on your paper right here and right here. Now, when we draw these lines, the lucky L and the rest of our drawing from here on out, we want those lines to be really light. And the reason we're gonna go for really light lines is if they're nice and light, uh, it makes it easier to erase them. There is a lot of erasing in drafting. And so if we can get you used to drawing things very light at first and then going back and darkening them up, uh, that's the way we typically do it, okay? So those light lines that are used to build a drawing, light lines are called construction lines. They're here to help you build the drawing. When we go back over them and darken them up at the end, we take them from construction lines and we make them dark and we call them visible lines, okay? So uh, at this point, uh, we have a border, we have a nameplate, we have a lucky L. And the lucky L shows us where to start our drawing. This bottom corner is the bottom left corner of your drawing, okay? So this is the bottom of your drawing, that's the left-hand side of your drawing, okay? And that's where we're gonna start drawing everything from. Lucky L's are always a half inch unless I tell you differently. There are some advanced draftings for eighth grade where we have to change that lucky L and make it smaller or make it bigger. Uh, but for most assignments, our lucky L will be a half inch up and a half inch over, all right? So that is how you set up a drafting assignment uh, so that you're now ready to start drawing your object, okay? So remember, square up paper, border, nameplate, lucky L. Whenever you put any text on any drawing, all capitals, all the time, all printing, no cursive. All right, so now you know how to set up a draft. All right.